Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to take a look at the Transformers 2 series Rise of the Beast Core Class Terracon Nova Kane. Let me think of this figure in the comment section down below. Is it a pickup or a pass? Now let's take a look at the figure's packaging. So here we have the packaging, starting at the very front, we have Transformers on the side, we have Stu Series in black text with a black Terracon symbol, and Terracon Novocaine in white text with a white Terracon symbol. We also do have the Transformers Rise of the Beast logo with an open one displaying the figure and the packaging. And if you do look at the top of the box, we have another Transformers Rise of the Beast logo with Stu Series in black text again, with a really cool image or a work shot of Novocaine in his robot mode looking very ferocious and menacing. And if we do look at the side of the box, we have Core Class in several different languages with a blue Terracon symbol at the top corner of the box, and Stuicer is going down the side of the box with a small image or artwork shot of Novocaine's head and chest, and if we do look at the back of the box, the figure transforms in at 12 steps, and we have product shots of all three modes for Core Class Novocaine, and as for the final side, we have a small little image or artwork shot of Terracon Novocaine looking really cool there, and that is pretty much it for the packaging, so let's now get into the review. Here we have Novocaine in his robot mode. Let's take a look at the details. Starting at the very top, I do like that really cool kind of missing piece at that top section there. As you can see, the entire forehead section is actually a mismatched design, so it looks like he's damaged or injured, which is pretty cool. And if you do look at some of his eyes, there's actually this really cool kind of scrape. You can see like pieces of metal or armor is actually missing on his head, which is pretty cool. And this other side is a bit more clean and complete. I do like that really nice kind of rust brown sort of bronze detailing on the forehead there with the really cool spikes. I do like the teeth done in silver. Unfortunately, his mouth cannot open or close, which I think is a bit of a missed opportunity. I think that'd be pretty cool for posing and for play. And I do like this really cool kind of skeletal sort of rib cage section at the chest there with a really cool kind of layered panel effect. And again, that really nice kind of rusted metal detailing on there, kind of a gold sort of bronze mixture. There's this really nice kind of dark grayish black for the top of the arms and the legs and kind of the ankles there with some more of that rust detailing and there's some pretty cool panel detailing and the hands are not too bad I do like how sharp they are they actually looked quite sharp and scary in the film but I definitely do think this figure is missing as some accessories I just have to say it now this figure does not come with any accessories and if you have seen the rise of the beast film there was actually several times where these freezers or Nova cans were chasing the main human characters or the Autobots and they would actually have these really cool kind of shuriken uh, blade knife pieces which would have been a great idea to include I'm not saying they had to include four because of course he has four arms but I think maybe one or two would have been a good inclusion because of course since this figure is a repaint retool of Freezer that means also Freezer didn't include any as well so I do hope maybe like a third party company like DNA Designs or like some other company could make some small shurikens because I would definitely buy that but as for his legs um I do quite like the very chicken leg design. I think that's really cool how they go out, in, and then down. I think that looks really cool. And the feet are pretty creepy, weird looking. And if you do look at the backpack, overall pretty compact, not too bad. Uh, he has a very weird design, a very weird stance. You know, he has four arms, but he has a pretty clean back. I'm, I'm quite impressed. But that is it for details. And of course, as I already mentioned, he has no accessories. But as for articulation, I'd say it's overall pretty much the exact same thing as uh, Freezer. If you're wondering, of course, if that new uh, molded head sculpt uh, changes the posability in any way. No, it does not. It's the same articulation. And I have to say now, before getting into the articulation, I have to say, at least on my copy, the Tarnses are far superior on Novocaine than Freezer. That's just kind of how it worked out for me. Of course, it could be reversed for other people. Maybe Freezer is better than Novocaine for some other people. But I have to say the ball joints are much more secure and tighter on Novocaine than my Freezer copy because his, his arms would pop off all the time. I'm actually pretty sure it happened during his review when I filmed it. It was so frustrating. This one is far more enjoyable to handle and mess around with, which is really good. But starting at that head, there is actually a really strong hinge at the base. You can actually have this lean forward pretty far, which is cool because they would actually do this quite a bit in the film. They'd actually kind of run on like all fours. They'd actually use their arms as like legs too. They would like leap and kind of jump like a, a leopard or tiger, which is pretty cool. So you can re recreate some really cool poses so of course you can hinge down and up of course the head is on a ball joint so it can look side to side it can actually also tilt and look up and down 
As for the arms, pretty much all the articulation for the arms is the same. So, of course, the posability and movement for this arm will be the same for all four. So, I'm really just going to show it on one. So, there's a ball joint at the shoulder and at pretty much the elbow or bicep. So, of course, you can move out and in, forward and back. There's also an elbow bent and a bicep rotation. That being said, you know, I did say the joints are tighter and better on this one. I still would advise if you're going to like move the arm, like rotate it, I would still advise to hold it at the top because if you don't, it could pop off. It's not tight to where I would like it, but it is better. So, of course, just kind of moving the arms out of the way. He does not have a waist rotation. That was just how Freezer was. The legs can kick forward. They can also kick back and out to the side. There's also a ball joint pretty much at the knee, which is a pretty weird area. It actually uh, kind of bends uh, forward, which is a bit odd. And there's also a ball joint at the foot. So, of course, you can move down, up, and, of course, side to side. So, lots of motion, very poseable, and just a pretty fun figure. Let me just quickly straighten up the figure like that. And that is it for articulation. Starting off our comparisons here, we have the Core Class Nova Cane compare alongside his mold mates, that being the Core Class Freezer. And it's really just a matter of preference of which deco you prefer, but there is one minor mold change. It's really with the head sculpt. As you can see, this one's a bit more dented and injured, and this one's a bit more complete and finished. As you can see, there's actually some major deco changes. This one's a bit more rusted and kind of old and withered away, and this one's a bit more fresh, as you can see. Looks a bit more clean, probably not as been as many battles as this one, so Again, really a matter of preference of which appearance you prefer. And overall, I have to say probably Novocaine is my favorite, but let me know in the comments which one do you like more, Novocaine or Freezer. And now for some other comparisons, here he is compare alongside his Wavemate, that being the Exosuit Noah Diaz. I think they look pretty cool side by side. And now for one final comparison... Here he is, compare alongside the Core Class Autobots RC. And that is pretty much it for comparisons. So let's now get down to transformation. So now for transformation, what you want to do is get the top arms. You're just going to fully extend these and kind of move these out just to get some added clearance. Then you're going to flip to the back. You're going to grab the entire backpack and just hinge this entire section out and up like that and there we go and then you can actually grab the entire barrel you're just going to slide that entire barrel through this entire cavity like that so you just hinge this all the way through and down and then you can grab this entire square section you're just going to hinge this up and pretty much over the head and this panel will just fold over the head sculpt or the entire robot mode head and that will just slide into place like that then you can actually move the arm all the way up like that same thing with the other one. And then you can actually rotate out pretty much the bicep or the elbow all the way around. So, of course, the open hand or the front of the hand is facing towards you. Do the same thing with the other one. Just rotate this around like that. And then you can bend at that elbow joint down like that. And then, of course, you can grab the bottom two arms. You're going to pretty much do the same process this time. Of course, you're not going to rotate the arm. You're just going to kind of bend at that joint. And then you're going to go to the bottom. There is a tab right there and a slot right there. And that will just tab into place like that. Keep in mind, this, of course, forms the entire sort of stand or the legs of the entire turret, which is a bit customizable. Of course, you can have them a bit more spread out. You can have a bit more in. Really just matters of how tall you want the turret to be or how you want it to look. So it really is just kind of a matter of preference. But you're going to do the exact same thing on your side. So just, of course, pretty much lock the elbows together. And just straighten this up like that. And as for the last few steps, you're actually going to get the foot, hinge this down. There is a slot right there and there is a tab pretty much at the bottom of the knee. And that's just going to lock into place. And the foot will just kind of compress against the leg like that. You can repeat the exact same process on the other side. So just grab the foot, hinge this down. There's that tab in a slot, tab in that place. And then, of course, grab the foot, just kind of compress that against the leg. And then you can just hinge them up and then just kind of straighten up the figure, make it look nice. And that is it for transformation. Let's now take a look at the details. 
Here we have Novocaine in his turret alt mode. Let's take a look at the details, starting at the very front. I do like all that really nice gunmetal gray silver for the entire front barrel section. There were some really cool spikes on the side, done in kind of a blackish gray color. And I do like the really cool kind of stands or legs a part of the turret. Unfortunately, I do like the design, but the hands are quite exposed there. Those are obviously the arms, so would have been nice if those were a bit more or less obviously exposed, like if they could have had like a panel to cover up the hand. I think that would have created a bit of a better look, but I do like the really nice kind of rust, sort of kind of uh, dark metal, kind of burnt metal detailing. It's really hard to describe, but it looks really uh, well detailed, almost kind of a weathered metal. And there's some more on this back section there. As you can obviously tell, the feet are just kind of sticking out the back. If you have freezer, you kind of know what to expect. Those same problems you have with that core class figure, you're really going to have with this one here. There's no surprise there, but still, I do quite like the turret. I just think there's a few problems, like the legs sticking out the back, the hands could have been covered a bit better, but I do like the very interesting kind of Cybertronian futuristic design, and I do like all those really nice kind of small yellow paint apps on the top with the silver, and I do like how you can actually see pretty much the entire sort of skeleton or kind of uh, kind of rib section, rib cage section from the ribbon mode right there. I think that's pretty cool how they lift that right there, but overall, I think it's pretty cool. Um, as for accessories, of course, he really doesn't come with any, so there's no storage. Um, unfortunately, if you are wondering if the barrel is blasted is compatible it is not which i find a bit unfortunate because you know this is a turret you'd really like to make it look like it's firing or you know kind of exploding or shooting or something also one of his other modes that i'll take a look at, um, at a little bit later in the review he actually transforms into a blaster and that one also is not blast fit piece compatible so i definitely think that's one thing that they really should have had a part of this because it's really a missed opportunity because there's quite a few modes that really involve that barrel and you really can't do much with it but now for some comparisons. Here he is with his wave mates, that being the core class exosuit Noah Diaz. And his review is up on the channel, so make sure you go check it out after this one if you haven't already. I think they look pretty cool side by side. And now for one final comparison. Here he is with the previous use or version of this mold, that being Freezer, and I think they look pretty cool side by side. And mold wise, they are the exact same thing. Like there is a mold change, but it's mostly prominent in the robot mode, so it really doesn't have much to do in this mode. So really, it's just a matter of preference of which uh, you know design and kind of the paint apps and color scheme you prefer. This one definitely is the more kind of rusted, kind of weathered effect. There is still some on this one, but I think it does look a bit more complete. You know, it's not that same dark kind of burnt metal color over and over again. So again, really a matter of preference of which one you prefer. I probably prefer Nova Can. I just like his color scheme more. Also, I have to say probably of the enjoyability, I think Nova Can is better. Um, I actually own two copies of Nova Can because I do want to create an entire army of like, you know, the freezers and Nova Cans. I probably will get a few more freezers as well. I only own currently one uh, right now is the time of recording this video, but those two copies have way better tolerances than my freezer. I could just be unlucky, but unfortunately, freezer, my copy anyway, his limbs pop off all the time. So I definitely think, in my opinion, Nova Kane is the more enjoyable figure for me. But that is pretty much it for comparisons and this alt mode. So now for Core Class and Novocaine's third and fourth mode, one of them being this turret, which is slightly transformed and modified from the previous turret. It's not the exact same turret we just took a look at earlier in the review. It's actually supposed to be compatible and actually supposed to attach to the Leader Class Scourge. Unfortunately, I don't have that figure in hand right now, so I really won't be able to show the full, you know, kind of option or compatibility between the two figures right now. But once I get Scourge in hand and once I actually film and do that review, at some point during Scourge's separate review, I'll try and show off that feature in greater detail. Right now, I'm really just going to describe it as best I can. Again, I don't have Scourge in hand, so it's a bit hard to show, but for the time being, really what you're supposed to do is have Scourge in his truck alt mode. You're supposed to grab the turret and pretty much attach it onto the back of his truck to sort of form this kind of back turret or kind of tank section at the back of the truck, which I think is a pretty fun playable feature. As for the final mode, it's actually this huge handheld blaster, which really should be compatible with pretty much almost every modern day Transformers figure. So the Legacy line, the Legacy Evolution line, the new Legacy United line, and I'm assuming pretty much all of the rise of these figures should be compatible with this weapon, which I think is pretty cool as well. But that is pretty much it for all of Novocaine's alt modes. Let's now get down to the final thoughts. 
Now for my final thoughts on the Transformers 2 series Rise of the Beast with Core Class and Novocaine. Novocaine is using the Core Class Freezer Mold with a new damage head sculpt. I like how Hasbro made two different variations of this mold so you can build an entire army of Freezers and Novocanes. Unfortunately, the figure doesn't come with any accessories, but he had these small shuriken blade weapons in the Rise of the Beast film, which would have been a good idea to include. Articulation is overall pretty good considering the size of the figure, but the tolerances could have been better because most of the main joints are ball joints, so some of the parts and limbs pop off whenever transforming and posing the figure. Transformation is overall pretty simple and fun. If you do have the previous version of the mold, you know exactly what to do. Novocaine's first alt mode is this cool cyber train turret with really nice gold and gunmetal gray pan apps. Novocaine also has two other modes, one being this turret mount, which you can attach to the back of Scourge's truck mode, and another mode is a blaster, which can be held in other Rise of the Beast figure's hands. What do you think of this figure? Let me know in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this review, and I will see you next time.